let me just say this real quick. If you're a pro, if you're an amateur, no matter where you are in mentalism, if you don't have this book, buy it. It's as simple as this, buy it. If you have Corinda, if you have Inman, buy this book, you need it. I remember waiting for each new book in the color series to come out so that you could be sure you had the complete set. For a while, you couldn't get any of them anymore when they were out of print, and people were paying hundreds of dollars per copy for the different parts of Max's color series. Hi, this is Doc Elford, and I don't want to tell you anything about PRISM, because PRISM should have never been published. PRISM has way too much good material that you can use. PRISM, the greatest thing about those booklets was trying to ferret them out from book sales and uh, auctions and eventually, if you were lucky, you would find one of the original blue books of mentalism and you knew it was real because the staples were rusty and then later you might get a red one, oh man, and then the collection would grow and like, like, like priceless baseball cards, you had to trade to get the right one. My name is Carl Christman. Prison by Max Maven was one of the best books I read about middleism. When I was just getting started, it gave me a great foundation for what's out there. He covered all sorts of different effects, different styles, and he took magic, which I was already familiar with, but it gave it a nice middleist flair and I could see the real impact it would have. You could actually move audiences with a lot of what he came up with, so I'd highly recommend it. And I would not be the entertainer I am today. In his Red Book of Mentalism, the introduction alone is worth the price of the entire series. The one thing I remember from this book more than anything else is how much it made me hate Max Maven. Because he wrote these amazing effects when he was still in his 20s. One of the most powerful books out there on mentalism, Prism by Max Maven. You can't go wrong spending the time to look at each item in Prism and understanding it not only in the context of when it was written, but the simple things you could do to make it uh, feel fresh for even today's audience.